Alright hi everyone welcome back to another tutorial of Salesforce makes sense in this tutorial we will continue our, our lightning web components masterclass by understanding lightning data service and how to create a record but using a custom layout so we are not going to use the fields that we have listed here but we will use a custom layout so before we do that I am just going to go ahead and say commit these changes so I will just say LDS create record using record form done sync changes all right let's go back lwc master class that's right this is right here just verifying lwc master class this is the github repository and yes just about now i've just done this commit yeah create record so everything is available here in the default lwc and you can see all the components are available here in case you have to you know refer or you know do a copy paste and just try to understand the code okay for example create a record is here right here cool great all right let's jump into the tutorial now we have to create a record but we don't want the standard field set that we have defined here instead we want to define that right here what do we do we basically use lightning record edit form in that case all right and with the lightning record edit form we are not going to give the record id we are just going to give the input fields that's the whole idea okay so i'm just going to go ahead and create a new lightning web component i'll say create record with custom layout all right i'll go ahead and say save now i'll just go ahead and say take the html from here we'll do a bit of a copy paste work because a lot of it can be reused i'll put it here sorry this should be inside the template i'll get rid of the lightning record form okay G create a record with custom layout without apex that's the title and then i'll just go to the meta file and i'll just copy this yeah so here i'll just replace this meta file with the right target i'll close this i'll close this i'll close this i'll close this everything's closed this is the new file so you see whenever you create a new file that has not been committed it will come with a u unchanged you know untracked sorry untracked okay this will come as untracked and you can actually identify ah, okay this is the class that i'm working on currently this is something that is yet to be committed to git okay great let's reduce the size here let's close this window and what we want to do is we want to start using lightning record edit form why because we need a custom layout we need a custom layout which is why we are going to do this so now i'm not going to give a record id why i want i want to create a new record so i just have to tell the system that i want to create a record for a case object i don't want to you know tell you what record is it because i want to create a fresh one all right so i'll just tell you that this is the record that i want to create and i have i i won't be giving you the fields in a subset list here i'll not be giving this right here instead i'll create a layout by creating a grid and i'll just you know manage it myself that's the whole idea because that's the business requirement let's say So I'll use lightning input field because input field is used to actually take input from the user. Output field will be used when you want to display the value. And here I can just mention the field name. Okay. This is going to be my template. And what I'll do is I'll just copy this bit and I'll just keep pasting it for, you know, the five, six things I need. The first one going to be subject. Second one will be reason. Third one will be type. Fourth one will be origin. Fifth one will be SLA violation. All right. Sixth one will be what else? What else do we have? Do we have description? Let's see. Description. Okay. Now that we are handling it on our own, we have to ensure what? We have the buttons, right? We'll have to create the buttons as well. So inside this div, right? In the grid div, outside this columns, I'll create the buttons here. So I'll say lightning button, right? and here what is the important part the type field i want to say that it should be of type submit correct and the label should basically be create that's it that's one and the other one is like if i'm creating a form i'll give you the reset capability also so i'll simply say reset and i'll say reset cool that's the button i'm going to give what else should i give them based on what we've learned we should create a lightning 
messages section here because any and every kind of error that they have to see they can just see it on the form itself so looks very neat looks very nice everything is handled we are going to go ahead and say deploy okay what have we written on the js file nothing nothing has been written it is all on the html and pretty much everything on the html if it was a bit fast for you don't worry i've just you know replicated the code that we did in the previous tutorials it's just that we're not giving a record id here that's the only change all right and let's go to safari let's close this right here and i'm going to say refresh and create record with custom layout so i'm just going to say edit page let's move this guy here it's taking some time to deploy okay this is deployed i think i'll just cancel this deployment and i'll just go ahead and say refresh i should see my component here so i'll say create yes create record with custom layout is showing up let's bring this guy here and we have the buttons available i'll go ahead and say save looks a bit funky we'll understand why okay let's go say back Cool. and this is how it looks so if you see it has come in a single row why because i have not told the system what size am i looking for each column which is why it's not able to you know go down and that's the reason it is coming in one line because i have also told the system to wrap it that's the meaning of wrap okay so now what i'll do is i'll just simply say slds size i'll just take a size and i'll say one of three yeah so i'll just take three here this is the subject this is the reason this is the type or let's do this subject will be two out of three reason will be one out of three type will be one out of three origin will be one out of three SLA violation can also be one out of three and description will basically take the entire space so this will be three out of three okay that's it one two two plus one three one 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 three this is the first row this is the second row and this is my third row okay and i'm going to just you know introduce a br tag here a break tag just to you know have the buttons after it okay cool looks good let's say deploy nothing should change on the functional perspective but i should see some sort of what do you call it uh you know ui changes deployed let's refresh okay looks better and i see that the sla violation has not shown up is that because yeah i think the api name is incorrect so it should be sla violation sla without the underscore here that was the reason it was not showing okay so you see it's able to take care of that as well the lds cool so you have create you have reset and you have everything here looks very neat looks very nice looks good for a form looks very similar to a screen flow and all of that but more capabilities yeah now if you have to make subject as required what do you do you simply put the required flag here perfect if you put the required flag it will take care of itself Another thing I notice is that the create button should be, you know, blue in color. So I'll just put a variant and I'll say that the variant should be brand. You guys know the variants, destructive, error, brand, neutral, outline. So those are the variants through which you can see the colors. If you're not aware of it, you can simply say lightning button documentation variant. Just type the keywords and you'll always land in the right place. Take this, take a look at the Salesforce documentation and you will see here that the variant See the variant is what uses to apply the styling and animation. So you have base, neutral, brand, outline. Let me zoom in a bit. So you have all of this stuff. Success inverse. So success is like a green color. Brand is like a blue button used to draw attention to the primary action. This is why you we use brand by the, by default. And the second second one that we use is the neutral. You know default variant. All right. Or you can do a outline so that the color is outline is blue and the color is white. Cool. So if I see this is the brand and reset, I'll just leave as is. Okay. And I've introduced what do you call required on the subject field. Okay. I've said that the subject should be required. All of it is fine. And what else? What else should we do? The layout looks fine. Only that the create button and the reset button should have a gap in between. So there are two ways to do it. I can add a CSS on the create button or I can add a CSS in the reset button so i'll just add a class in the reset button i will say on the left side if i could get some spacing what do, what does it mean sLDS margin left small simple done 
let's go ahead and say deploy on the left side of the reset button i want a small margin added okay that's it let's say refresh and let's see if the changes are taking place and looking better or not refresh so the space has come up the create button is now blue subject is marked required okay one more thing that the create button is completely stuck on the border right let's get that guy also you know some spacing so i'll just add the same class here so that you know the left side of this button also has some spacing that's it so i'll just go ahead and say deploy done refresh looks much better what you can also do is get these guys in the center by writing slds align absolute center that's another class okay great now i have the form ready i have not done any actions and do i have to do anything let's check it out i have not written c i have not written any line of js code any write of apex code only html okay cool now i'll say lds create record to custom layout all right the case reason is performance the type is electrical let me just you know choose something else it's come from phone no sla violations this is a record that will be saved without any line of js or apex now if this fails it's like you know <laughs> it's something that will be a good point to laugh if i've written it so confidently create okay so i'll just hit create i'm not sure what has happened but let's quickly check if this record got created i'll close this and i'll create a duplicate tab and let's search for this record so you see it's been created this is the record that it, that has been created and you see all the values that we put have come on the fields the right fields without writing writing any apex code without writing anything right so this is pretty much very close to low, low code like not not no code but low code okay now if you notice we did not really understand that you know the record has been saved and that's a problem plus the the reset button should also work so if i'll just click on the reset button you see all of this is out now okay the pick lists are not changing due to some reason but all the text fields are getting cleared but that's the standard capability from the reset button okay cool if i were to say create again it, it will not be able to create anything because the subject is not added but if it has to create a case which does not have a mandatory subject it will still create a record okay but that's how you are actually being able to create a record with a custom layout without using any apex that's that's the highlight of this particular story all right in in the next tutorial what we'll see is you know what really goes behind the scenes what events are called and how can you actually access them and you know leverage them for example when i clicked on the create button something happened behind the scene but we did not really get to know what i was doubtful whether my record got created or not but is there a sure shot way to know yes there is so we can use that and we'll look that look at it in the very next tutorial all right great that's all i wanted to cover as part of this particular video i'll talk to you in the next one before that uh, if you want a specific set of fields in a specific order or layout you can use yeah this is what i talked about this is what we did this is again very similar to the view and edit forms that we discussed yes only in this case you are creating a new record meaning you're not putting the record id that's the only difference okay and with custom layout you can even repopulate the field values to sorry this should be pre-populate okay you can even pre-populate field values to enable the user better form interaction wherever needed and now we'll look at what events can be handled when working with edit forms in general so that is going to be our new next you know uh, what you call topic all right great i'll talk to you in the next one bye